Hey everybody, Pastor Sarah Ritchie here. I'm the minister of First Christian Church in San Bernardino, California. It is a beautiful August the 20th and here we are together. So glad to be with you. So all week long I've been thinking about rocks and stones. Why you ask? Well, because this Sunday we are exploring uh, for worship the scripture in which um, Simon receives a nickname from Jesus. Jesus nicks, nicknames him Peter, which means rock, and says, upon this rock I will build my church. So it's on my mind. And I've been combing through scriptures to look for rocks and stones. And you know what? There's a lot in scripture about rocks and stones. Why? Well, because they live in a stony place. Lots of rocks and stones. The scripture I'm looking at that captured me today is Psalm 71 verse 3. Be my rock of refuge where I can always escape. Where I can always escape. You know I was on vacation recently and I took a moment of escape. It was lovely to put away all of my electronic devices. I mean, I didn't have anything, not cable television, not a phone, um, not a tablet, nothing. It was quiet, I had books, and I had um, the mountains of California. And I found that I came back so restored by that experience. I felt renewed and I, I'm convinced that it's because I had a, a place of escape where I could let my mind just rest. We all need that sometimes. We need a place of escape where we can meditate, pray, look upon the beauty of the earth, read books, set aside all of our electronic devices. Even if we only do it for a few moments every single day, the, this is what we are called to do from time to time. Jesus did it. He would go away into the high places and the mountains and he would pray. So do a little yoga, take a walk, take a nap, set everything aside. And look to God who is your rock and your refuge. A place of escape. So my friends, so good to be with you for just a little while. I pray that all of you are healthy and well. That you are cool <laughs> in these hot summer days. May you wash your hands for 20 seconds in soap and water. Wear your masks out in public. And, oh my goodness, remain physically distanced, but not socially distanced. And be sure to take moments of quiet. Good to see you. Bye-bye.